Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic is Trade and Textile. And we are studying this course in the context of Industrial Revolution. How did the raw material for England invade the subcontinent and other countries and their colonies? In this moment, I will give you some information that the age of discovery was followed by a period of colonialism. The age of discovery was followed by a period of colonialism beginning around the 16th century. Following the discovery of trade route to India around southern Africa by the Portuguese, the Dutch established Dutch East India Company, the world's first transnational corporation and the first multinational enterprise to issue shares of stock to the public. It was the first corporation. What is corporation? Corporation is basically an entity in its own rights, independent from its shareholders, etc. Ye ek loves a incorporation. Vaha se ye loves corporation jo hai ye develop hua hai. It means bringing many into one. And corporation is an artificial legal person which can sue or to be sued, it is an entity in its own rights. Or the first time you establish hui hai, wo transnational corporation, jo ke Dutch East India Company ke naam se bani thi. My dear students, the British later founded the East India Company along with smaller companies of different nationalities which established trading posts and employed agents to engage in trade throughout the India, ocean region and between the Indian Ocean region and North Atlantic Europe. My dear students, in companies ka kaam jo tha, वो किन कमोडिटीज में डील करना था और इनका पर्पस क्या था वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट सेगमेंट्स ऑफ दिस ट्रेड वाज इन कॉटन टेक्सटाइल्स व्हिच वर परचेज इन इंडिया एंड सोल्ड इन साउथ ईस्ट एशिया इंक्लूडिंग द इंडोनेशियन आर्की पेलोगो वेयर स्पाइसेस वर परचेज फॉर सेल टू साउथ ईस्ट एशिया एंड यूरोप My dear students, you would be amazed to know that by the mid-1760s, cloth was over three quarters of the East India Company's export. Indian textiles were in demand in North Atlantic region of Europe, where previously only wool and linen were available. However, the amount of cotton goods consumed in Western Europe was minor until the early 19th century. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you very much indeed.